Welcome to another episode of Smart Board Tuesdays. I'm Jeff Seville, the Executive Director here at CEI, and today's guest is Christina. She is a local social media educator. We, we often refer to people in the social media world as gurus and experts and stuff, but educator I've never heard before, and I like that because it's an area that we need to really focus on educating companies on how to do social media right. So today we're going to talk about that topic. Well, and, and you know, the reason that I really like that term educator is I don't feel that anyone can be an expert or a guru. It's a constantly changing, it's constantly good. evolving yep. um, space. What I want to talk about is the do's and don'ts. And within the social media space, there are social media etiquette don'ts that some people will agree and yeah. not agree on. Um, you know, what type of content you should post, that it's not Facebook therapy or that it's not, you know, therapy book. Um, how many times? So those are more um, social media etiquette. And, and everybody has their own rules of what works and what doesn't work. But what I want to talk about is the actual guidelines, the things that when you created that Facebook account, you agreed. Mm -hmm to not do. And these are the things that I'm seeing people do, do. Yeah. very heavily. So your Facebook cover, that's that image that's at the top of your page, either your profile, and the profile is you the person, the page is the like page, but that cover is at the top and it's really supposed to show an image of who you are, what your likes are, what your brand uh, okay. might be about, uh -huh. what it cannot have and what you agreed for it to not have is no purchase price, <laughs> no contact information, and no references to Facebook features like, so let's say in that timeline cover you had like our page, share our page, um, connect with us. So that information is supposed to be in your about section. Yeah. And people are often putting it there. And as a marketing director, I get it. I, I understand that here's this beautiful space that I can put. Awesome real estate. <laughs> That's a great place to plug something. Exactly. Yeah. It's so what not a great place to plug something. What would Facebook do if you did do that? Well, recently Mashable did a great article on this, and okay. some of their staff actually had their covers taken down. Oh, wow. So, and you know, I have to say, I'm, I'm very aware of this from a business standpoint. I myself was recently to blame for doing it wrong um, <laughs> because it was for a charity. So I'm doing uh, for my 40th yeah. birthday, I'm doing a toy drive had this photographer do a great image with gifts and then put the information where the event's going to be at, yeah. the time, where people could get additional details, put it up there, and then realized, wait a minute, this is not, not in the terms and compliant. conditions. Exactly. Yeah. So I had to take it down. All of this information, this is just a, a very small piece of it. There's so much more in the covers and there's so much more in the guidelines. Yeah. And if you go to facebook.com, slash page underscore guidelines dot php you can get all the details and I encourage people to do that. Another area that we're seeing this is in promotions. There is there are so many extensive rules, do's, don'ts, guidelines. I recommend people not even do the promotions. promotions until but if you're gonna yeah. do a promotion you want to do it through Facebook.com in the app section. section. Um, your promotions can't be dependent on any Facebook features. So you can't tell people, like the page, comment on this photo, upload a photo. Yeah. And people do it all the time. Big brands even do it. It's, <laughs> it's amazing to me. It's just that lack of education that you talked about. Yeah. Exactly. So what are some good tips um, for a marketing director or a social media director to stay up on all this? What's the, what's the best way to stay up and educate yourself on all this social media stuff? There's some great sort of resources out there. Um, Mashable, allfacebook.com. Um, oh, that's a great one. Mari Smith is awesome. another great yeah. one. Um, social media or you can come to my workshop. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> because I really geek out on the social media stuff. Um, here we're heavily talking about Facebook, but you know there's just as many rules and guidelines within Google Plus within That's Twitter, right. within Pinterest, and these are constantly changing spaces. As a matter of fact, um, I was hesitant to get into the space of Google Plus because I'm doing so much here. Here, yeah. There's so much so SEO much there. Yeah. December 15th, 15th. Uh -huh. we're going to be talking about Google Plus. So. Oh, way cool, way cool. Yes. And so, uh, Christina's uh, social media workshop does take place here at CEI. What's the best way to get a hold of you? Follow you on Facebook? Yes. Okay. Actually, so like. 
like, like the page. Like, thank you, thank <laughs> like you. Like the page on Facebook, so. you can get, and then you just go to the events and you'll get all the event details. Excellent. If you're here local, I encourage people to come into the workshop because when yes. you do that, we take your page and we put it up on the screen. So you get interaction and you get feedback, feedback. from everyone. I have a radio show um, every Saturday. Yeah, talk Saturday. a little bit about that. How, what's the... Sure. Um, so I do a radio show every Saturday and we talk about the do's and don'ts around social media because it's the space that is constantly ever changing. Every day. Every hour it's almost like. It it's is. It's changing it is. all the time. Well, great. Just some awesome tips here. Um, there's so much to learn in this space and so much to keep up on. So it's a great way. To, to keep up on it is attend Christina's workshop. So I'm gonna give the board a scan and we're going to uh, have this image up on our website.